Hello, I'm Andrew Fidel Fernando. I'm here with Russell Arnold at uh, Kingsmead Stadium in Durban for Cricketry on the Papare.com, previewing Sri Lanka's first test against South Africa. Uh, Russell, you've been here before, you've seen a, a lot of this surface. What do you make of what you see here this time? Uh, what are you expecting? It looks a good one. Um, I walked out there, the weather, it looks really warm, so that's how it's going to be during the days. A little bit of rain is forecast. When I got in um, yesterday, it was raining pretty hard, but the um, outfit looks very, very good. Walked out to the middle, Andrew, looks a hard pitch. There's a good covering of grass, but what I'm seeing different to the times we've been here before, it looks even. Uh, there are no cracks, there are no uneven areas, so I'm just getting the impression there's going to be good pace, good carry, and batsmen who want to get behind the ball and hit through the line will be able to score runs there. We'll have to wait and see how it will go up over the fourth and fifth day, but um, history tells us that spin will come into play. Going back a few years, when South Africa used to tour Sri Lanka, I remember Sangakkara's uh, maiden uh, series in Sri Lanka, it was against South Africa, and the South African bowlers, this was early 2000s, go off the opinion, come to Kingsmead, we'll show you how, it, how to play pace, what pace is. That's what they used to think of this pitch, but now that's changed over the last uh, few years. Uh, spinners have come into it, runs have been scored, and teams are getting away with draws here. In fact, Sri Lanka's only good result has been uh, out here in Kingsmead, thanks to Rangana Herat, and you also have to mention Chana Kabilagheta, who set it up as bowlers. So, Sri Lanka have some positives to pull out, Hopefully, uh, they can come out firing on all cylinders. Very important how they start. Uh, Russell, you mentioned that win uh, at the end of 2011 here. Uh, very few of those players, in fact, possibly no one. I, I haven't looked at the, the, the team sheet, but it's a very green, inexperienced uh, team that has come to, uh, to South Africa this time around. What do they have to do here to, to compete uh, in a way that we didn't see them compete in Australia? The main thing is to try and forget what's been happening around you and also the results of uh, the recent past. It's key that uh, you put that uh, put that behind you, look at this as a fresh start and get into it. The moment those cars are carried, I mean, it's, it's very, very difficult. That's Sri Lanka's problem. They're all thinking of, or the minds go back to the results of the last two years and all the problems, the injuries. So they're just not able to move forward because it's a confidence thing. Um, and um, if they can start really strong, South Africa will feel the pressure because they cannot have any hiccups against a struggling Sri Lankan team. So that's what uh, our boys do have to um, capitalize on. You mentioned uh, the past and that win. If I'm right, Dinesh Chandimal made his debut in that game and made 250. So he's been dropped for this series. And also we don't have uh, Angelo Matthews. Uh, you're right, I really can't think of any other names that would have featured uh, so long ago, maybe five, six years ago. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Dinesh Chandimal. He's obviously been jettisoned for this series. Uh, what are your thoughts on that decision and also what do you make of Dimitar Arat as the, the new uh, stand-in captain as selected for bowling? I like the term stand-in captain, that's like giving him a real message and a vote of confidence, isn't it? That you're only here for this tour, kind of. But nevertheless, if you're going to someone, it's got to be Karnaratna. He's been um, the man scoring runs and he shows a lot more maturity than the others. On Dinesh Chandimal, you've judged him at number three, but he got all his runs at number five. He was moved up for a reason. So you could have gone with the thought process of moving him back to five and taking the pressure off. But on the other hand, it's totally not a bad thing to be out of the firing line because very good Sri Lankan teams, the best of players have also struggled here. So uh, it's going to be a tricky one, how we're going to judge our players, how we're going to come up with the plans to move forward. It's the future that we really are thinking of. And I also do hope the newer players, the younger players who have come in here are totally not judged on this. I remember in the last series, uh, Dananjo De Silva came to South Africa, uh, a very good player with a lot of runs behind him. And again, they made the mistake of moving him up the three. He failed, he found himself out of the team. So we've got to be a bit um, more analytical in how we're looking at our players, where, what, when, what happened, uh, rather than totally on the runs and just for the moment. Just on that number three position, uh, Dinesh Chandimal has gone out now. Technically, there's a bit of a gap there, there's a void there. Uh, who would you like to see fill that uh, position in the top order? I have no problem seeing Kusal Mendes back there. Uh, he's done that before, he's been way at the top. He's got his runs there as well, so put him up and then maybe if Chandimal comes back, Angelo Matthews 4-5, uh, I think they'll be a lot more comfortable rather than toying too much. I like the idea of Dick Weller coming up early, but I'm not too sure whether it's at number four. Probably a five or six, so he gets to bat a little bit with a, with a batsman rather than the tailwind where he'll be able to express that.
uh, finally, uh, there are, it's no secret that there's a lot of distractions around this Sri Lanka team at the moment. Chandikathu Singh has spoken about that as well. Uh, there's ICC allegations and, and there's stuff happening here at the sports ministry and with the board. Uh, how does a team get, uh, how does a team play a test series with all that going on? What do they have to do to get their mind on the job here? Yeah, shut themselves from the world. That's the most important thing. Uh, it's easy to say, forget and play, but you can't. I mean, everything uh, is part and parcel of it. Even we would be talking of these things, so those players could be directly uh, affected by decisions that can happen. Uh, maybe the coach had told them something two months ago, that's changing now, so there'll be a lot of uncertainty. But someone's got to stand up. Someone's got to be really big. Someone's got to go on and make 150, 175 to change uh, things around for Sri Lanka and uh, hopefully we can move forward from there. The problem with these issues is they're not going away. Even the allegations are just floating around. Uh, come out, say the names, Andrew, you're the culprit, throw you to the dogs, let's move on. But that's not happening, so I hope that happens sooner rather than later and we can just focus on it. Russell Arnold, thank you very much.